All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. We're doing Libra, Aquarius, and then Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, and then Capricorn. The timestamps will be in the comment section below. If you want to know what time your your what how long what time your reading started, your sign, you can look at the comment section below. If you want to book a private reading with me, just look at the comment section below as well. I'll put the information there and the link to my um, my website. I also have spiritual boxes available, size medium and large. You have to pre-order three to six weeks, three to six week wait because I'm going to pick out all the crystals and stones myself from a shaman shop near me by the Native American Reserve. Okay, and the sage, Palo Santo, everything's gonna be handpicked by me. It's, I'm not just gonna give you some a box. And it's going to be like, here's a box with shit in it. No, it's going to be real. So that will be on my website. Up on my website. Um, tomorrow I'll be posting that on my website. So you guys can check my website out for all your spiritual needs. And we are on. We are on Libra. And then we're going to do Aquarius. And then Gemini. And then Virgo. Then Taurus. Then Capricorn. Loving late angels. Spirit guides and angels. Archangels. Star seeds. Ancestors. Loved ones. Please step into this readings with love and light and help me out. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. I love you. Kisses. Send me an angel. Send me an angel. All right. Libra. Oh, Libra. What's going on? You who are you worried about? Who are you waiting for? Who's this, who's this that you're waiting for, Libra? You waiting for somebody and they haven't called you? I didn't do Pisces? <gasps> okay. Pisces. I'm going to do Pisces then. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Mother. I know I felt like I missed something. I'm so sorry, Libra. I'll get to you in a second. Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. That's not good. I don't, I don't like missing a sign. Oh, my back. <laughs> Lori. Oh, my back. <laughs> All right. Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I did cancer, yes. I, I know I did the rest of them. I just missed Pisces. But after this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and then Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. As you guys can see, I'm very peaceful and very calm right now. So whatever these messages are, they're made for you. And I want you to receive them. And, you know, if, if they resonate with you, fine. If not, don't try to make it fit your life. Never do, you know. Um, spirit will always give you the messages you need. And don't ever say, oh, well, I don't know what this is for me. If you said, oh, my God, I think this is for me, then it's for you. Okay, it's Pisces. <sighs> Pisces. Some of you are determined to... Determined to... Wow. Wow. I, I was going to say determined to leave someone, but I was like, wait, is that is that what I was trying to say? Some of you are determined to leave something, a situation. Some of you are determined to leave something, an energy. This could be a job for some of you. Like, I got to wedge you right now. Oh, God. So, um, this could be a job for some of you. This could be, why do I feel like it's like, I don't know. Somebody's trying to leave something here. There's like somebody. See, see that? Either someone's trying to leave you on the Lizno, the low, low, or you trying to leave them on the low. It's like this, like that's like a sneaking away energy. That's how I'm feeling. It's weird. See, there's somebody who's denying this. There's somebody dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and they want to leave a situation. They could want to leave like in <clears throat> like a sneaky kind of way, though. Why am I feeling that? That's weird. Wow. Some use. Some you, some people, some of you guys here. If you are a a, 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 a a if you are a Pisces, and you're dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, or a Scorpio and a Cancer, this person might be sneaking around or being shady or acting funny style with you. There's a, there's a sense of someone being a little not, listen, I don't really do this, like where I talk about like people being sneaky and, but I'm feeling that energy. You could be dealing with 
something sneaky. Something, something don't smell right here. It's fishy. I smell fishies. Get the douches. Okay, the lovers, Gemini. Then you could be dealing with the Gemini. I'm telling you, somebody's like on some... This could be a past energy because I, I'm reading this for some of you as a past energy that this is like you you left in Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. You picked your shit up and left. And then a lot of you... Um, yeah, it was a Gemini for a lot of you because this person was like very standoffish to, towards you. You found out something weird about them. This is past energy. There was a lot of conflict here. There was some fighting. There's some... You felt uh, like this energy didn't fit you very good. You love my shirt? I love it too, man. Boobs. You know, because I always say boobs. <laughs> Boobies. I think the word boobs is so funny. And I think when guys try to suck on boobs, it's even funnier. <laughs> you know, a guy hasn't got breastfed when he's little and he tries to suck your boobs all the time. He's like, bro! Where was your mom your whole life? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Damn, bro. Motherfucker. Shit. <laughs> I'm up. <laughs> but, you know, I love boobs. And especially I love titties. Like, they're the cutest thing in the world. I love small boobs because I have huge ones. So when I see small little titties, itty bitty titty committee, I'm like, oh, her tits are so cute. She could, like, walk around with no bras. <laughs> Lucky bitch, come over here. Let me suck on those nipples, cause that's all you got is nipples. <laughs> that's like <fucked> the. <up. laughs> no, but I like I like small titties. I really like small boobs. I always, if I dated women, they always had like little little titties, cause like you know we can't be both walking around with big titties. That's just weird. <laughs> two fucking girls that are fucking each other with two big ass titties. Four big titties walking down the street. K I S S I N G. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I, like, I'm not really, like, okay, so if you want to know my type with females, I'm not, I don't like big boobs, and I don't like big butts. Sorry. <laughs> I don't like big butts for me. I like the way they look. I'm like, ooh, she got a nice ass, but for me, to for me to have it in a bedroom, I just feel like it's a lot of work. I have to, like, I have to actually, like, put you in the shower and clean you, because now you're talking about, like, a butt, like, that I have to spread open, clean in between, stick my finger in the hole a little, clean, clean, clean. Then go under by the taint a little bit more. Open your vagina. Pull up your clit. Pull up that little flat. Clean in between that. Make sure there's no crust in the like the little area. Then because you know if I'm gonna eat you, I have to open your shit all the way. Then I have to pull your flap up and eat the clit like that slowly. You know like and then like uh you know like have your teeth on it and shit. So I gotta make sure your shit clean. Know what I mean, <laughs> <All right. laughs> that's how you eat pussy, bitch. <laughs> Don't lie. Don't lie. You know how it goes, bitch. That's why you're like, oh my god. Yes, exactly. Yes, bro. <laughs> oh, Yari, my baby. That's my boo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, okay. Where are we at? <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> All right, uh, Pisces. Damn, Pisces, who are you trying to fuck? <laughs> yes, bitch. Yes. yes, that's how you eat pussy. If there's any men in here and you're watching, you have to open the vagina. It's like, yo, if you can't do this, just stay away from the vagina. You gotta open it. Hold the top up like that. Okay, so you like it's like you do this like with your fingers. It's like mm, you stretch it out, and then with your thumb you could pull up the top and be like, uh, right. And then you could like gently put your teeth on the clit, gently, gently. Like I don't want to feel nothing. And then you go uh, the same spot. Don't move from there. Don't fucking move. I will punch you in your face if you move while I'm about to. If you move right when you get the spine, you're like trying. To... Like, you look like the exorcist when she was on a bed screaming, like, stop. Keep your tongue like this and then go, uh, you're welcome. Fuck out of here. <laughs> gay man watching. <laughs> oh, I just taught you how to eat pussy, gay man. <laughs> hey, don't, don't feel bad. A gay guy taught me how to suck dick, okay? Literally, he was like, and he showed me like face to face. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed to say that. That was the best lesson I ever had in my life. They sat there. He said, I could show you how to suck dick. I was like, you don't suck dick better than me. He was like, I'll bet you I do. I was like, show me. And he was like, I. Right. And then he started sucking his boyfriend's dick. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. So so while he's sucking his dick, I was like, yo, so that's what you do. Okay. Then the next dude I gave her to, 
he fell in love with me and shit. Like, we had a baby together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I suck the shit out of stick because he taught me how to suck it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, the sex talk is real because it's real. That's really what happened. I'm not going to deny it. I can't deny it. I'm a fucking rider. You don't want to fuck with me. Flow is a fucking G. Mm. All right, I'm going to get back to these right readings. I love the sex talks too, especially like for some reason, um, that was like one, always one of my favorite things. I always wanted to let people know about my sex, my sexual adventures, being on TV, you experience a lot of fun things, you know, and I don't regret a goddamn thing. I don't regret a goddamn thing. Okay. And I'll do it again, but I won't, but you know what I'm saying? I would do it all over again. Cause it was fun. <laughs> it was fun being flow. <laughs> And it's still fun being flow, but it was really fun being flow at that time. Oh my god, the shit I seen. Hmm. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. No, let me stop. Okay, Pisces. Some of you could be rem reminiscing on the past. That's why I'm writing a book. You guys are gonna laugh when you read my book. It's so real. It's called as real as it gets. Hmm. And it's just straight like fuckery. You're gonna love it. I talk about a lot of different things, you know, sad stuff, but mostly not sad stuff. <laughs> Everything's funny and fucking crazy. <laughs> All right. So, Pisces, let's get back to the reading. Because you know me, I'll keep going. Um, Pisces. Yeah, I want to I'm, see. I'm thinking about the podcast, Gina, because the thing is, I want to write the book and I, I have, you know, um, there's, you know, when you feel something coming towards your way, I can't really talk about what, what what's going on but I could tell you guys that it's telling me not to plan too far ahead because you know I might just get have to pick up take my clothes and go you know what I mean so we'll see what happens but um back to the Pisces reading so all that stuff I was saying someone um wanting to leave an, a situation or left the situation because somebody was not showing them the love that they want. And they wanted true love. They wanted their soulmate. There was a lot of fighting in the situation with the Aries, Leo, or Sag, and a Gemini. <clears throat> this person that you were dealing with, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. They could have been a Cancer or Scorpio. And you probably were dealing with someone who was probably a little bit shady and weird. Like they just hide stuff from you, right? Um, mm. There's some Pisces here that I'm feeling. Some justice is being served for you, okay? So that was for a particular part where there's a lot of conflict around you. There's like a lot going on around you. Oh, chaos all over you. It's like every day you wake up in the morning and there's this going on, that. You got to go take care of this one. got to take care of that one. And and so spirit's asking you to slow down, take a breather, relax, because you deserve, you deserve the justice that's coming in. You can't see it yet, but someone's coming in to, to get that justice brought to you. Spirit is telling you. First of all, I feel like somebody went through some healing, deep healing recently. And this was like whatever chaos was going on here with a Leo and Aries. With the Leo, mostly I'm feeling. Whatever chaos was going on with some Le a Leo here or something like this, uh, Aquarius or Libra, whatever was going on, there's justice coming in. Justice will be served. You will feel, yeah, somebody, yeah, okay. That's amazing. So I feel like whatever conflict and craziness was going on, this at this point, this tower moment is going to bring in such clarity. It feels like someone came in or is coming in to break a something that was going on. There was a lot of chaos going on. There's a lot of confusion. And it's like, you always have to be the peaceful one. It's like, you always got to resolve everything. You're always trying to tell people. Okay. So I'm getting a strong feeling about a Pisces here. I don't know who's, who's with us right now, but whoever it is, listen, you're sitting there. You got your guard up. You're like defense, defense mechanism is on point. Not in a bad way. You're not defensive. You're not guarded. You're more ready, ready for anything because it feels like around you, there's a lot there was a lot of conflict. There was a lot of chaos. <sighs> People not paying attention to something. It's like you feel like somebody didn't didn't pay attention to either you or something in your surroundings not being paid attention to, and you feel like you're trying so hard to get to, to get like people to like to like understand this. Um, look, it's like you are always the one that they come to, and you're. It's just like it kind of makes you like feel a little bit like. 
even though your emotions are very stable and you're very grounded, at the end of the day, you feel like, damn, like I just want it all to just calm down. Like what? It's just so much like, you know, and, and, and you, you help a lot of people here. It's a lot of help going on. Someone needs a day at a spa. Someone needs a day at a spa. Someone needs to relax. Someone is um putting too much pressure on themselves. Someone is taking on responsibility of other people and they need to cut that shit out. Like they need to be like, listen, like this is what's going on. Like I'm taking care of this like all by myself and I need your help. Like this is your responsibility and you're not um you're not here doing what you need to do as a person and like if you do that there you go. A victory will come in. That's recognition. First of all, some of you are going to get recognition for the work that you do. Um, it's some form or another recognition and a gift coming in from the universe. A gift coming in from someone. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, but there's a victory coming in. And it feels like your pentacles are going to be on point. Wow, you're going to be happy about this. This is going to make you happy. <laughs> You've been waiting a long time, long time for this transformation, a long time for this to happen. You've been waiting for this for a long time. You've been feeling a long time now that things aren't coming in for you, but it's about to change. It's about to change. Okay. Things are about to change and get better. Okay. So we're going to Libra, right? Thank you, Gina. I love you guys. Bitch, listen. <laughs> Uh, Lori, your mom was a Pisces, right? My mom's a Pisces, too. Wow, that resonated for my mom, too. <sighs> All right. Libra. Libra, Libra. Aurel, hi. Libra. She's in here? Get out of here, mama. Love you, mama. Love you, love you, love you, love you baby. All right. Hi, Zan. Hi, Dita. She thought it's the end. He's getting for me. Okay, Sam. UK, what's up, UK? All right. Let's do this, guys. Let's get to the Libras. Remember, there's Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. And in the North Node, if you know your birth chart, and you know if you have Libra in the North Node, this will... just check your chart. Because, like, for some of you, Rising could be a Libra, and you might resonate with this reading more than you resonate with your Sun sign. I feel like for those of you who watches a lot of um, tarot or you like tarot, um, your, your rising sign a lot of the times will resonate more. So my rising sign is Aries, so I watch a lot of Aries readings. Well, I watch the same person over and over again. Libra is next. Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Positive vibes to you, Zen, my love. I love the work you're doing. Keep keep waking the community up, my baby. Zen41911 also does tarot as well, and she is always talking about positive things and showing people how to use crystals on her page. She's very intuitive and very wise. So you guys, you know, she likes to spread positivity and I like that. So I'm always supporting people that do that. Wow, Libra. As a Libra usually does, pouring their heart into everything, pouring their love and everything into, oh, I know in the UK, right? It's 1247 AM. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Like I'll try, you know what I'll do? Like when I'm up late at like 5 AM, I'll go on YouTube live for you because I know that a lot of people like watch from different countries on YouTube and all this. So it's very hard to catch these lives and I get it. So I'll try like when I'm up, I'll just do them because sometimes I'm up for no reason. All right. Libra, like a Libra, you're pouring your emotions into everything. Now, the universe is, is asking you to have balance. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, and you could be giving them all of your energy. You could be giving them all of your energy, all of your time, and this person doesn't seem to like give it, reciprocate it, and it's leaving you feeling this way. Sad, lonely, upset. I'm glad, Lowe's. I'm glad. I love the UK. I can't wait to visit it one day. I think it's so, like, hip and cool, like, the UK. You guys always know about everything before America. It's funny. Okay. So, so some of you also are dealing with the Aries, Leo, or Sag. I do feel like some of you guys are really over, over pouring your whole heart into something. There is somebody here who's sad about a Scorpio. Um, you could be, like, feeling, feeling... The, lonely right now a little bit sad or this was the past energy 
um, yeah, there's, there's like a past energy here of giving too much to one place, right? Not, <clears throat> not reciprocating, not reciprocating what you were giving out. You were giving it out, but you weren't giving it in. You missed the cancer, but I'm posting them on, on here, YouTube and Facebook so you can catch them. Okay. I'll have it. There's a need for you to begin life. Okay, so Libra, I'm feeling strongly for you. There's, there's a beginning, a new beginning starting. But to also watch your step, you know, because the fool is very carefree. The fool is um, the only card in, in tarot that doesn't match or go with any other cards. The fool's on its own. It just travels. The fool goes around the whole tarot deck. Do, 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 do. I'm the fool and I don't care. But in order to be all of these different aspects of yourselves, like the star, the queen of wands and all that, the fool helps you get there because you have to blindly go into these different personalities or characters per se, so that you can explore those aspects of your being in order for you to achieve and become the person you are, which is the queen, which is the king, which is the empress, the, the, the high priestess, you know, in order for that to happen, you have to first start fresh as the fool. So the fool starts off the adventure and ends it you know what i mean it like literally from the beginning to the end the fool is always like the one that travels around the whole tarot deck to get to where they need to be so they're asking you to be the fool right now and explore all aspects of your being so that you can control these emotions that you've been feeling if you've been feeling negative emotions 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 if you've been feeling negative emotions and you've been feeling like you've been pouring out your heart to people and it's causing you to feel this toxic energy this is feeling trapped this is feeling like you're like you're bound to something like you have to be there and you don't you can be free you can set yourself free nobody and nothing tells you where to stay but you if you wanted to get up and leave right now you can you don't have to remain in this toxic energy Queen of Wands is a social like like a socialite. She's like the life of the party. Everybody loves her. Blah blah blah. The Queen of Swords. She stands firm and cuts things out that don't serve her. She's like guarded. She's like she got her hand out like this on the card, like come. But then she's got a sword in her hand. So she's like, you can come close to me, but if you fuck with me, I'll cut you. You know what I'm saying? Like literally, like you fuck with me, I'll cut you. You know. So now there's an, a, see that that's the, that's the feeling of needing to break out of this bondage. Now I'm going to show you why this is so valuable to look at the cards when you're doing tarot, but to use your intuition as well. If you could see there that you have two people and there's a chain on them and they basically like the forbidden fruit in their hands. And then the devil's up here, like hail Satan type of energy, right? And so, like, they're asking you, like, do you want to serve the devil forever or do you want to break free? All you got to do is break that chain, cut those fruits off you. You don't have to take the temptation. You can deny it. Then I'm talking to you, Libra J. You can deny that toxicity. It's up to you. And you're, if you choose to stand in this wounded warrior energy, this is like battle wounds. This is somebody who's been through the ringer. I've been there. I've done that. I've had a lot of issues. A lot of things have hurt me. But you see, instead of, instead of just dropping that wand, he's still holding on to the pain. You know, he doesn't need the wand to walk. He doesn't need it for support. He's bruised. He's battered. He's damaged. Behind him is all these other wands. And he's still kind of sort of looking back at these wands. They want you to stop looking back. Stop looking back. And if you've done something in your life where you felt like, oh, I messed up, this happened, that happened, this is your time to just let go of the wand, let go of it, break that chain, break that chain right there, cut it, take out the fruit, don't be tempted, and stop, and don't go back to that wounded warrior energy. Revisit it, don't relive it. This is your time to not revisit it, not relive, not relive it, revisit it. Look back at it, use what you've learned to move forward. That's it. There's, it's only lessons. There's no guilt. There's no regret. There's only lessons. I'm gonna tell you right now. Anybody in here who's feeling guilty, regretful, I should have done it this way, I should have done it that way, they're just lessons. You take that lesson and you learn it. And if if so, if this is made for you, if this was your destiny, your destiny will never leave you. If it's for you, it's for you. The universe will bring it back to you, whether it brings it to you 10 years from now, five years from now, it will come back to you. And believe you me, no matter what you've done, never feel guilty about it. Only look back at it and say, I don't want to do that again. Don't say, oh my God, I shouldn't have done that. Because if I look back and said, I shouldn't have done this, I shouldn't have done that. 
I'll be sitting here for a long time saying I shouldn't have, shouldn't have, could have, would have, should have, could have, would have, but I didn't. You know what I'm saying? So it don't matter. Just keep moving forward. It's time. Life lessons, not a life sentence. Thank you, Zen. Beautiful. That's how life is. If you continue to to sit in that, that, that I, I, I should have, fuck, I should have loved him this way. I should have, you know, um, sucked his dick from the back more or like, you know, I should have cooked dinner more often or... Or I should have, uh, I shouldn't have cheated on her, or whatever, or cheated on him. Listen, you did what you did. Oh well, it's done. Over, it's over and done, and the heartache lives on inside. But don't let it, <laughs> okay? There's a need for you to rebalance and reconnect with your inner self. You know, there's this need for you to really rebalance and reconnect here. Better days are ahead, unicorn love. They always are. You know, um, we get sometimes the universe actually, God, source, the universe actually will come and bring in that tower moment for us because we're so blinded by love. Love is blind and it'll take over your mind. And what you think is love is truly not. You need to elevate and find love is blind. Remember that. That's why I did that song. Love is truly blind. When you're too much in love with somebody, you are going to do stupid things. That's why it's always good to love yourself fully because then when you fall in love with someone else, you love them in a healthy manner. I've been unhealthy in love where I've loved someone. It was like, what the fuck? I look back now, I'm like, what was I thinking? What was I doing? Why was I doing this? Why was I doing that? It's because you're fucking in love and you're dumb. You're like, dum, 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 doink. You're an idiot when you're in love. You really are stupid as fuck when you're in love. Okay, only I, it's like you're really stupid when you're in love. You like a thought of it, okay? So next we have Aquarius, then Gemini. And after that, we'll do Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. You, you were listening to her last night? Yes, I know. Um, guys, I cannot take you um, on live right now. And whoever um, DM'd me saying that I'm a racist, all I got to say is, ha ha, very funny. Retards. You're a racist, he said. And he looked like the devil himself. Like he like he had like scary eyes and shit. I'm like, ooh, creepy. And that's how the, that's how the devil tries to get you all the time. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm like, where the fuck would but anything, you could have called me anything but that. Like you could have been like you um I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, something else. <laughs> that though, are you serious? Come on, my guy. <laughs> Who you talking about me? I'm black. I'm in, I'm black from the waist down. What the fuck is you talking about? Okay. All right, guys. Um, so we are on Aquar uh, Aquarius. That's right, Aquarius, right? Aquarius. Okay. No, you did not miss Virgo. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn are the end. I love you guys too. Just remember, that's what I'm telling you. Every day, you're always gonna get somebody who's always trying to test you. Don't let them. Don't fail. Don't fail the test for yourself. Fuck people, bro. Like, you know, show love and light to everybody and they'll show it back. And then you'll always have that one little devil work, the one who works for the little devil, you know, whatever the devil means to you or whatever. It's always that one little person. I'm just, I'm saying that to you so you know, it doesn't bother me because you see I'm unbothered, but I try to say it so that you understand that in order for you to move forward and be successful, never listen to the haters ever because you will never get to your destination. If you stop to listen to everyone ever, then you will never get to where you want to go in life. So you got to ignore the haters and go. Aquarius, you get the high priestess. First card up. High priestess is the first card you get, Aquarius. So um, you're very intuitive. You have very, very good intuition. Exactly, Jamara. You have very good intuition. But also, Jamara, I don't like I don't even say fuck you. You know what I say? I say, okay, baby, love and light to you. I hope God blesses you with everything you ever wanted. Because 99% out of the time when I respond like that, they always like they'll write back like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to talk to you like that. Or they'll like they'll block themselves. Like it's really serious. So when I answer with anger, they get back and then it's a whole day of me arguing with somebody and letting some stranger get me mad. When that's so stupid, you know, so that's why you got to be like, okay, you know what, God, I pray for this person. I pray that you give them what they want out of life because hurt people hurt people. You just got to pray them, pray them to the light. You know what I'm saying? It's like working with spirit. You got to pray the, the negative spirit to the light. Don't be like, you fucking annoy me. Like you just be like, I love you. I hope you find a love you need, love and light to you. And that's it. That's it. 
Uh, Bicarb, be 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 carb bra. Thank you. Hold on one second, guys. Let me get that water. Bitch is thirsty. I'm parched. I yeah. Alrighty then. Mm. 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 I love ice. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Sorry, you guys. You know I love ice if you watch me. <laughs> Leave this bitch with her ice water all the time. Don't fuck with me when I'm chewing my ice. Anyway. Aquarius. Somebody could be dealing with a Taurus or a Pisces. Cancer or Scorpio. Moving away from them. Your intuition is telling you to move away from this person. But I'm also hearing that intuitively you've been feeling that there's about to be a change in your life and that you're going to move away from something. But I do strongly feel like somebody's intuition has been telling them to move away from a certain person. To just get away from them. You're just like, whatever, you know? Um... I gotta go. Like, you got that energy of, like, you know what? I gotta go. You're starting to fucking annoy the fuck out of me. But no. Then for other of you, I'm really strongly feeling here. Your intuition is so good. And you've been knowing what's about to happen. You, like, felt this move. You've been feeling this energy shift. You've been feeling it. And, whew, that was that was weird. You've been feeling it. And you've been knowing something's about to change for you. There's a... A moving moving away from something there's somebody moving away from a cancer scorpio pisces there's somebody moving towards an aquarius libra gemini there is a message coming in from an aquarius libra gemini or a scorpio and there's like an there's like a, a, a some of you cannot end this connection there's like a not being able to end this kind of connection feeling here Dick big and he toxic, huh? Girl, I feel you, girl. You need to listen. It's always the toxic ones that got the best dick, you heard? So you need I'm sorry, that's a that's a fact though. That's a real old that's a OD fact, you know what I'm saying? You know? So you gotta like pick a struggle. You wanna you wanna do with a big dick who's toxic, or you wanna do with a regular ass a good, good sized dick, you know what I'm saying, who fucks you good good enough, you know what I'm saying, but also takes care of you. You know, it's hard to find everything at once. Usually the guys who fuck real good, got the money, they're really, uh, most of them are not loyal. I'll just tell you that right now. That's a fact. Because they know they got their money. They know they got a big dick. They know bitches want them. But they need you to be their girl because you that bitch, like that mean bitch. But they got side bitches <laughs> up the ass. So you got to pick a struggle. You feel me? Pick a struggle. You, you If you want if you want that good dick with with. With money and you, you don't care about him seeing a little pussy a little bit on the side, then don't complain later. But, you know, mostly, like, you could teach a regular dude how to be special. You know what I'm saying? You, could, you really can. You really can. I, I've, I've transformed many a men back in my day. Back in the day when I was your age, <laughs> I made a lot of guys, I made a lot of boys into men, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> A lot of girls into women, a lot of boys into men, to men. That was back in the day when I was your age, and today I'm too old for that shit. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> so, if you are... Oh! Okie dokie. Yo, thank you. That was... You stabbed me in the stomach, literally, just now. Why? Why are you doing that? I don't think I don't feel that. I feel everything. Oh, can you stop? Okay. Let's <sighs> clear the energy, please. Thank you. Love and light surrounds me. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. <laughs> mm. Oh, I know you are. You're one of the guys I turned a boy into man, right? And you passed away. What's up? How you doing? You're welcome. You're welcome, my guy. Okay. Yeah, because a couple of guys that I turned from boys into men did pass away. And they do be chilling around me sometimes, trying to touch me and shit. I'm like, yo, back up. No. Energy. No. Last airbender. 
Okay. All right. I'm so sorry. Aquarius. Okay. So. Um, mm, I'm not too old for that shit. I just joke around, bitch. I feel like I'm 22. I bet you I could keep up more than a 22-year-old girl in the bedroom. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> anyway, back to the choir. Sorry. <gasps> Ow, jeez. Maybe it's just my fat getting skinnier as I'm sitting here. That's what's happening. Okay, keep going. <laughs> They're doing surgery on me. Liposuction. Yes, bitch. Yes, queen. Calm down from planet Venus. Take my stomach away. Lift my boobies. Yes, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. I need some bow ties right here. A little bit of lip filler. You know what I'm saying? Get my teeth right. All right. Cool. All right. Oh, yeah. I'll take the pain. Go ahead. Make my belly smaller. Make me skinny. No, I'm skinny. <laughs> okay. All right, so Aquarius, <laughs> Aquarius, sometimes I feel like somebody, like, no, because I believe that aliens do that. They come at night and they, they like, um, they do, like, work on us. So, like, if someone is, is ascending or they're getting downloads like I am, a lot of times um, when I get a download, and that's a download is when I wake up the next morning and my ears are vibrating like crazy. I'm, I'm getting, receiving information that's crazy. That's why when I do those um, videos I do and their messages, their messages that came to me the night before and I woke up like I have to say this, like it's like they're telling me to say, say it. So at night sometimes I will feel like the back of my head here, like somebody was like drilling me with something. So it's like a download. Maybe they're like putting something into my brain where it's like opening my eyes to something or whatever, you know, because they, they could just be like coming into my skull and putting information and whatever it is, they're, they're working on it. So that's why it's like, you know, whenever I wake up to something like that, I don't see it as, oh, I'm in pain. I'm like, oh, I got to download, like, you know, and then like I do, you know what I'm saying? So I'm 37 years old, about to be 38 September 1st. And I will be having a party. So if you're in the New York tri-state area, you need to come to that party. All right? It's going to be fire. Lit. It's going to be fucking awesome, you know? So like, I'm going to have some, like, hot guys there and, like, some hot girls. And, like, we're going to be, like, outside somewhere so we could social distance and whatnot. And we could, like, twerk on each other because you're kind of, like, not breathing on me when you're twerking. Anyway, Aquarius. You have love coming in. A tower moment. In a good way, because after the tower moment comes the ten of pentacles. So that means happiness, good news, luck, fortune on your side, love, as above, so below, equal love. This is like somebody who is equal to you. This is a soul connection. It is divinely guided. It's being divinely guided to you. Don't, don't, don't try not to try not to see this love as like, oh, just like everybody else, because it's going to be different. OK, what is Akira September 2nd? OK, baby. Okay. Who am I on? G Gemini, right? Okay. Am I on Gemini? Aquarius, Le Did I do Libra, Aquarius, and then now Gemini? All right, we're on Gemini, right? I'm in upstate New York. Um, like, the Woodbury Commons is not that far from me. If everybody knows where the Woodbury Commons is, I'm like 40 minutes away from there, 30 minutes away from there, I would say. I don't live too far from the casino over here, um, Monticello. All right. All right, Geminis. Yes, and I'll tell you exactly where. I'm not I'm not trying to blast my location on live because I do have a stalker that I'm trying to... Um, there's an actual stalker. He's been stalking me for like 11 years, and he's very creepy. But I also sent him a picture of me and my gun, so... <laughs> Maybe he'll know, he'll get the hint, you know what I'm saying? I was like, look, bro, I, I carry, so I'm just letting you know. Step up to that bitch, I'm going to have to shoot first, ask questions later. Look at him. Stalker, schmalker, motherfucker, you come near me, and bitch. Pow, pow. I'm shooting, bitch, I'm shooting. I'm telling you, come near me or my child. You are going to die. Yes, I'm sorry, but that's a fact. <laughs> Bitch, I ain't playing that game. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's one game I do not play. I don't, I don't fuck with stalkers. Them motherfuckers be on some crazy shit. You know, a lot of people, like my sister said, she was like, yo, he sounded like he want to he, he wanna cut your skin off and wear it. Like, that's the type of stalker that motherfucker is. 
Motherfucker been stalking me for 11 years, bro. 11 years, my G. That's a long time. And and he's angry because I'm always like, the fuck out of here. Like, he's on that anger shit. But he don't scare me because, whoa, Gemini. Okay, fuck that stalker talk. Not motherfucker. No, nope, not motherfucker. I got guns in my crib. I will shoot you, motherfucker. I got the peripheral vision. You come up in my crib. By the time you get upstairs to my room, I'm a very light sleeper. Spirit will wake me up. I got my spirit guys. They'll be like, Lena, get up. And I'm like, oh, what happened? I'll go right under my bed, grab the gat, get the bullet, and I'm coming down the stairs and I'm shooting. I'll be like, hello? I tell everybody now, say who you are because if I say hello a few times, you don't talk. You're losing a foot tonight. Okay, Gemini. Yeah, it's Virgo, Taurus, and then Capricorn after after Gemini, okay? I know, you know, but it's okay. He lives in Vegas, so I know where he's at. I got his number. I got, I already had detectives call him. Like, you got to do everything smart. When you, when a stalker comes at you, never, ever deny it or think that you're safe. Like, you always have to assume the worst, okay? Yeah, I just a Scorpio, but I'm going to post them so you can always watch them, okay? Gemini. Wow, Gemini, <laughs> Francis. Francis, you know what's funny? I saw a meme the other day that said, that said, um, this dude said something about I, I, like I won't, I won't be able to fuck him right. And then it said, like motherfucker, don't you know I snatch souls? And I thought of you immediately. I was like, this is so a Francis Rodriguez quote right here. I swear, cause her fucking shit be making me laugh. Her Instagram, her posts are funny. She posts what a lot of you bitches are scared to post. I'll just tell you right now. Frances Rodriguez is a gangsta ass bitch. Like, I don't know if you want to really, really try her. But, and I mean, like, I will follow her because she posts shit that you want to post. But you're like, mm, what are people going to think about me? You know what I mean? All right. Gemini. Wow. <laughs> you like that show, right? Mm, yeah. <laughs> the truth. Everybody say hi to the truth. That now. That's one of my favorite rappers in the world. Always has been. Always will be. Okay, Gemini, Wheel of Fortune, the Star card, the Three of Pentacles, Fortune turning in your favor, blessings coming your way, the Star card being divinely guided to this new opportunity, this new project that you're about to start because it is a project and it's going to require teamwork, okay? This is financially going to be a successful thing for you because it is divinely guided. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. If you are just tuning in and you're here right now, I could be picking up your energy. So if you're asking about something, if this is going to work out for you, how's it going to go? It's going to be a good partnership and it's going to work out. This I see a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I also see an Aquarius here. Um, but for you, I'm just feeling Gemini strongly. Like there's projects, new beginnings, there's teamwork, something here that's, it's requiring some patience. Okay. There's Sagittarius energy as well. It's requiring some patience. Um, and there's an Aries, Leo, or Sag also involved in this reading. And it's like, I'm getting this energy of like, if you felt like things in the past, you continue to try to make things work. You continue to try to make things work. And they didn't. This this is requiring a lot of patience for you. But wow, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor big time, big time. There you go. You just popped up into your own reading. Look at that. Because this is going to be good for you. I'm looking, I'm looking at something spinning here. There's like a spinning uh like time time is on my side yes it is that's how i feel like somebody's got something that took time to create took time to manifest took time to get to the next step and now it's getting there so you're you're doing what you need to do for yourself and it's working zen no you i never read myself either i can't even read myself it's impossible <laughs> there's no way i try to read my own cards it just doesn't work so me and truth and truth, me and the truth, Staten Island, we're actually doing a song together, and it's it's like something I, I've never done before, but it's sick. I wrote the hook when I was there, and he wrote his part. I was like, oh, we gotta do the song, and then, you know, because I really, I'm not really like trying to be a music star, you know what I'm saying? But but I also have other talents that I'll just do for fun on the side anyway. All right, so there is some, um, yep, yeah, okay. Wow, they're telling me to stop right now. Like they're, they're like, stop, like stop. The magician, holy shit. Yeah, this is like, 
The Empress, are you joking me? Okay, Gemini, you know I'm strong Gemini in my chart. Sometimes I resonate with Gemini reading. So, listen, I say this is mine and it's mine, okay? The Empress, the Magician, Gemini, Abundance. Some of you be careful because pregnancy could be in the cards for you if you're, you know, doing the hanky-panky. My boo-boo, Zach. Zach's here. Zach, I love you. Oh, my God, I miss you. Zach. Oh, Jasmine, hi. I love you guys. My little angel squad. I know. They're like, bitch, where you been? You haven't been in the Zooms or nothing. You haven't been in a messenger. And I'm like, listen, angel squad. You guys, if you're really about the love and the light, then you'll understand. <laughs> so the ones that are about the love and the light, they understand. They're right next to me right now. Celebrating. Look at that. Gemini, hold the fucking front door. Hold on. Somebody, somebody stop the press. Do you freaking see this, bro? Bro, bro. Get it out, bro. Do you see this, my bro? My guy, my guy. Just let me just show this to you because not only am I feeling excited right now, the wheel of fortune, divinely guided, partnership, teamwork, coming in, work, taking, requiring patience, not holding on to the past energies. I know you feel like you've been through a lot, but look, this is coming in. This could be love for a lot of you guys. Some good luck, you know, with love. This is abundance. If you do meet somebody and you could get pregnant, so be careful because you, you know, and then this is the, the magician. You can manifest. You have all the tools needed to make everything you need come true and then the three of um cups is celebration with friends with family you know moving forward like there's like a time there's a time for for you to right now feel excited about what's about to come because that what that spreads and you already know that spread is gangster right there that spread is like for real that's a spread that's like i like i always say this if you play fucking texas hold'em that's like hitting a royal flush right there for real like Nobody could beat you in a royal flush. If you're playing Texas Hold'em in, in a table full of people in, a, in poker, they could have any car, in hand in the world. Royal flush, it beats everything. It beats everything. Our, our thing. Our thing. Okay. Virgo and then Taurus and then Capricorn. Oh, my back, yo. I need my back. I need my titties reduced. I can't carry these things around anymore. God, I need a breast reduction. Okay. I just did Aquarius yesterday. I'm going to post all these, so don't worry, you guys. Virgo. Taurus and then Capricorn. I'm going to post all of them so you'll have all of them. And if you look in the comment section where it says timestamps, that means if you fast forward the video to that time that I wrote, like 103, that's the Gemini reading. So it'll be Gemini 103, so you fast forward to Gemini 103. Okay, so I'll put the timestamps there so you guys can look back at it. <laughs> No, don't reduce them. <laughs> no, I, I want to. I have to. Are you, are you joking me? Like, you guys don't really see you. Do you. Do you see that? Like, this is this is not a joke. Like, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. Look at them titties. Look, 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 look. Bang, bang, bang. But, ow, ow, if they hurt. <laughs> Come get my period. But that's, <laughs> that's boobies right there. Those are boobies. That's why I got these. I'm like, boobies. I'm just like all boobs. Like, when you see me, I'm like, hi. How you doing? Girls jumping on trampolines. Girl, let me stop. <laughs> I don't know if anybody remembers that show, The Man Show. <laughs> God. No, Virgo's right now. I'm doing Virgo right now. I know, it's beautiful, but it's also very uncomfortable. My back hurts. My shoulders hurt, you guys. It's, it looks cute, but it hurts. Uh-oh. Oh, guys, my nose is itching. Spirit, spirit. Somebody's here to talk. Uh-oh. Somebody has a message for you. I'm a Virgo, guys. Remember, I'm a Virgo, so... Um, my higher self is stepping forward big time right now. Not it, it is usually fighting, but <sighs> that bouncing. Wait, I just noticed the shirt. <laughs> Zach. <laughs> but my higher self is in the building, y'all. Yeah, it's it's very peaceful in here. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Here we go. Spirit of love and light. Join me. Well, you already have joined me, but let me just say it for the fuck of it. Join me for this reading. Surround me with love and light because I'm full of love and light. So that's all that's what, that is around me, you know? And I appreciate the darkness because it's taught me a whole lot. The darkness is my G. What up, son, dog? What up, shine? Yeah, boy. But, you know, back up. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Virgo. Thank you, Gina. Gina Babina Babida. Gina Babina Mamina. Gina Babina Mamina. Gina Babina Mamina. Boobies, 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 boobies. All right, calm down. Damn, yeah, it got hot in here. Boy, whoo, mama. 
This shit went from like average heat to like um can we say hellfire heat? No, just kidding. Guys, all right, can you take hell that way or towards the window more so it's not that hot in here? And can can like heavenly come this way a little more? Cause I know y'all both up in here, because all oh, you motherfuckers be all up in my shit, busy. Okay. All right, sorry, sorry. Yes, I know. This is how you know spirit came in here because I start acting real retarded. I don't know what to do. <laughs> my eyes, what? They look crazy? Whoa, did my eyes not just look like some like alien shit? Look, look. Right here, look. That looks like alien eyes, right? Look. Isn't that weird? That is weird. My eyes did look really alien, like, right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, what's really good with that? All right, here we go. Would you guys stop it? Would you stop? You know what, though? It's okay. I'll take the compliments. You know why? Because literally, I'm not dating nobody or talking to anybody, so I don't get compliments like that. Like, my mom will be like, you look pretty. And I'm like, mom, <laughs> you know, I know I'm pretty. My mom tells me every day. <laughs> You know, like, what the fuck? So when you guys compliment me, it's like, you know, I'm single. So, like, it's nice to be com You guys. <laughs> Bitch, I got court coming up. All right? I got court coming up. Like, and, like, I I'm on Virgo. And look what just flipped over together. I don't know if anybody knows what this means. This is, like, a court card, justice, court, decision in your favor. A decision in your favor. Thank you. Make me famous. <laughs> Make me famous. That was cute. I like that. <laughs> you guys are cute. That's cute. You know, like, you know, I'm learning. I lo Actually, I'm lying. I learned to love myself a lot more. In the past, like, if I watched the video of me doing a reading, sometimes I watch the reading to see if maybe there's a message in there for me. You know what I'm saying? I watch my own reading. And I'll be like, let me see. Because I feel like I was saying something for me, too. And I'll watch it. And today, when I watch it, I'm like, I actually look cute. If this is me then, I never watched the Bad Girls Club that the season I was on. Because I didn't like looking at myself on TV. And even today, I won't watch it because it's just, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's weird. Um, but um, today, I'm like, oh, okay, whatever, it is what it is. We all got flaws. We all not perfect, you know? So, you know, I, I learned to love and accept myself for who I am. You know, I love my body, whatever. You know, I love my little chub rolls. I love my little fat in the back, you know what I mean? And all that. And it's cute. Like, it's it's kind of cute if you really think about it. I'm like, you know what? If a guy was to grab me right now, at least he got a lot of meat to grab onto, you know? <laughs> I was all skinny before. Like, what's he grabbing? Nothing. Yeah, my season was lit. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. My season was lit. Like, there was always something going on until I left. <laughs> then it got wet. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Virgo. Decisions in your favor. This could have to do with court, like I said. There's something that you've been waiting for a decision to find out if it's going to be in your favor. Justice is served. The answer is yes. I know, Zen. You're like fucking... Yeah, okay. Justice is served. The answer is yes. There is a uh, ending to something here. There's an ending to something here and a... Ooh! An ending and a new beginning to something here. Um, um, okay. All right, so they're telling you to manifest. Make sure that if you have something coming up, especially if it's legal, something legally, like, and, and there's something here with, like, somebody being able to manifest this, they need you to be the magician and, and make it happen. And it's like spirit is going to bring in, the, the universe is going to bring you a gift that's going to help you with this situation. You'll be able to stand in your power and you'll feel good about it. It's like you're able to control the birds, the... the this is the magician. You have all of the tools to make anything that you want manifest and pop up into your life. Delilah. <laughs> they always like they always team up on the girl. They're they're I feel like, you know, if you watch a lot of the seasons, they always team up on the girls that they were like, this bitch is you know, they they're, they're not always, but a lot of the times. That's what happens. When they see a powerful woman walk in instead of like trying to, you know, first of all, Anyway, that's uh, that's their problem, not mine, <laughs> you know, because uh, I'm going to be laughing last. <laughs> anyway, guess who gets the last laugh? <laughs> guess who finishes last? Good guys. <laughs> okay. All right. So the magician getting over some heartbreak here. Some of you were dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. 
<laughs> yeah, with a broken ankle. A wish fulfillment. Look at this wish fulfillment coming in. There is somebody who was broken hearted in the past. Yes, yeah, yeah, I get it. Uh -huh, we were all there. But there's an ending to that. You've already cut out that whole like, oh, you ended a transformation. You're okay. So I see this. Usually somebody would read this as something that needs to end and transform. Like this to me and with this, it's like you, you like the, the, the Queen of Swords is, is looking over at the death card in reverse. So I'm seeing that as an ending to find like you transition because the death card is always death and, and rebirth. So I see this as a transition like you ended you're done like looking at, I don't know if this is done yet. You're done with all that. There's balance coming in. Like there's there's like the magician energy. You're you're stepping into the magician energy. Look at that. See what I'm saying? There's an offer. Some kind of opportunity is going to come in. A wish fulfillment. And then right here, <laughs> I went like that. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I got a booger. No. All right. So I'm <laughs> sorry. I know I'm gross. <laughs> I tried to hide myself with the card so I could pick my nose. I was like... <laughs> But it was itchy. I thought I had a booger. It was just itchy. <laughs> Yo, I've been thinking I'm slick sometimes. Ow, I got a headache. All right, fine. I'll be more ladylike. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Yeah, Sakira. Guys, fucking the fuck. Every case laughing. <laughs> because, you know what the fuck? I've been thinking I'm slick sometimes. I'm like, <laughs> what? I didn't steal that lip gloss. I paid for it. <laughs> I go into the store with mad money in my pocket. And I still, I always have this habit of like taking a lip gloss or something. You know that one item that's like $10.99 for no reason? And you're like, I just paid for all this food. Like, I think I, they owe me a lip gloss. Like, they owe it to me. It's like, they're, it's like, it's mine. <laughs> and then you just take it and you're like, what? And then somebody's like, you stole that, didn't you? You're like, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> man, fuck the big corporations, man. Fuck that. You <laughs> fucking buy one, get, get buy five, get one free. That's how I look at it. <laughs> anyway, let me stop. That's, that's so ghetto, Flo. Don't say that on live. People are gonna think you're broke and you have to steal. I don't give a fuck, bitch. <laughs> bitch, broke or broke or a lot of money in my pocket. I always gotta take a souvenir. You know what I mean? I visited your store. You're welcome. You're welcome. I walked in. I chose your store. You're welcome. Fuck. Give my fucking lip gloss $12 for this fucking bullshit that I'm going to lose anyway. I'm going to go somewhere, put it on, put it on the floor, and guess what? Fucking lip gloss is gone. I left it again. Thank God I didn't pay for it, right? <laughs> so I would have been out like $12,000 if I would have paid for any of my lip glosses right now. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fact if anybody's as tomboyish as me I carry a lip gloss, a pack of cigarettes a lighter and some cash and a credit card other than that I don't have a purse to put my shit in so you know you gotta be like this though I'm gonna show you real quick let's say you're in the store and you got like I don't know some tampons or whatever then you got your phone in your hand like this, and you got something else like this. You grab the lip gloss, you put it in between everything, you know what I'm saying? And he's just like, mm -hmm. you grab your phone with the lip gloss underneath, and then you slip it slip it in your bag, and be like, oh, and you're still looking at your items, like, oh, this is great, I'm gonna buy this. <laughs> I should not be giving lessons like that, but that's a good one. <laughs> Tell me that's not slick. Another great one, grab a lip gloss, Go up to the front, pay for your items, and just put the lip gloss on in front of the lady. She'll never know. Never know the difference. Just open it, pay for the items, put the lip gloss on like it's your lip gloss, throw that shit in your bag, and walk right out. You're welcome. It's going to go. Um, so, yeah, Virgo, there's new beginnings, new news, something amazing coming in, partnership, a wish fulfillment. This is going to die in one minute and 50 in, in one minute, so I'm just going to yap until the next one goes i know that's bad like people say that's bad karma but i think stores have bad stores give bad karma because they go and make something for a dollar and then they sell it for like 12 so for me it's like fuck you like fuck like if i'm paying 600 dollars for my food and my clothes like i think like you know still on the 12.99 lip gloss ain't gonna kill them you know what i mean they steal from us every day i don't need to have sex because the government fucks me every day <laughs> Fuck. Fuck, I look like being honest all the time and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Bitch, I could be the Buddha in a white fucking gown. I'm probably still going to steal that little <laughs> stuff. That's horrible. But it's the truth. Mm. Come back in. I'll be back in 10 seconds. Well, it's, it's closing out 14 seconds. I'll be right back. I should probably not post this, but I'm going to anyway. <laughs>